What kind of sermon would that be? Amen. That's scary, isn't it? Amen. If you want to get your, I can pull the altar call right now. Everybody in here gets saved. <laughs> The very first thing this man from the other side is going to say is so, is so profoundly powerful. The first thing he says is, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. I did a poll, to the poll. I was trying to figure out what people thought was the most abundant substance on planet Earth. And I was amazed at how many different answers I got because there are those who believe the most abundant substance in the universe, not on planet Earth, in the universe, is air. There's air everywhere. You think there's a lot of air. There's air in the air. There's air. People got air and air, just lots of air. And up in space, there's not a lot of air, but there's air up there. There's air. Then you have those that say, no, it's not air, it has to be water. Because there's just so much water everywhere. There's water in the clouds, and there's water on the ground. And I just found out that there's a gigantic aquifer that runs from Oklahoma all the way through Texas. And there's just water, there's water, water under the ground. There's water everywhere. Then you have those who are a little bit smart alecky, and they say, no, it's not water, it's got to be dirt. Because there's lots of dirty things going on down here, so it's got to be dirt. <laughs> You got dirt on the ground and dirt in the air and dirt in people's hair and just dirt, just dirt. The more scientific minds among us said, no, brother, the most abundant substance in the universe has to be iron. Because iron, really, there's iron everywhere. There's iron in the atmosphere. There's iron in the human body. There's lots of iron in the ground. There's, there's iron. There's lots of iron. I'll tell you something this morning. You can take dirt, you can take water, you can take air, you can take iron, you can multiply them times a million. Take that number and multiply it by another million. Take that number and multiply it by three million and you still wouldn't be able to even remotely come close to the most abundant substance on planet Earth. Because the most abundant substance on planet Earth is not water, air, dirt, or, or, or iron, or air. The most abundant substance on planet Earth and in the universe is the mercy of God. There are places in the universe where you can go and you will find no air. There are places in the universe where you can go and you will find no water. There are places you can go and there will be no iron. There are places you can go and there will be no dirt. But can I tell you something? There is nowhere that you can go in the universe and not find the mercy of God. You can get on a rocket ship this morning and fly all the way to the other side of Mars, cry out to God for mercy, and his mercy will meet you there. It is the most abundant substance in the human. Oh my goodness. Listen to what the Bible says. Let me say, y'all making me preach. What is up with this church? I just really hate to try to save some of this for at least Wednesday night. I'm like, whoa. Luke 16, I'm sorry, Lamentations 3.22 says, It is through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassion or his mercy cannot fail, it faileth not, and they are new every morning. That scripture don't even make no sense. Let me read it in another translation. The Bible in basic English says, His mercy have no limit, they are new every morning. How does that make sense? Come on. Uh, let, me, let me tell you what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm trying to say. <laughs> he says, there are limitless. There's no limit to it. It cannot be used up. And yet it's renewed every morning. Okay, okay, y'all still don't get it. Let me paint a picture for you. I want you to picture in your mind. Picture in your mind is a well. They found a well. And it's a bottomless. This picture this is a scenario. It's a bottomless well. In other words, they are trying to find that they took one of their little scientific gadgets that can tell you how deep something is, and they put it in there and set it down there. Three months later, the thing is still going. Ten years later, the thing is still going because it is a bottomless well. You with me? 
bottomless well meaning you can never use up the water that is in it because there is no limit to the abundance. Are you hear what I'm saying? So picture it. You're standing there at the bottomless well one day. You're looking at it like, man, that's so cool. It's bottomless. I can jump in there and just never fall to the well. Right? You're thinking like that. That's how I did. Five. First thing in the morning. Five gigantic semi-tractor trailers pull up to it. Big old strong dudes get off the tractor trailers and they've got these gigantic water holes and they walk up to the bottom of the swell with these water holes, turn it on the spigot and start pouring water in. And you're standing there going, what in the world are y'all doing? And they say, we're putting water in the well. He said, well, why are you putting water in the well? Because that is what the master told us to do. But it's a bottomless well. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> it means it don't need no more water because you can't use up the water that's in it. Come on, come you know on. that. Then why you put more water in it? Because that's what the master told us. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. yes. Even if you were the worst, filthiest, perverted, twisted, sadistic, sadotic, and all them fancy words. Worst human being on planet Earth. And you went to God and said, God, have mercy on me. You wouldn't even come close to using up enough mercy. Are you with me? And yet, the mercy that you would use when you wake up the next morning, he replenished. Ooh, amen. Oh, my God. Listen to me this morning. The most abundant substance in the universe is the mercy of God. 